Here we are today visiting a very vintage old album filled with very old greeting cards from the early 1900s. So let's start right in. We'll have plenty of videos. As you can see, it's really super old. Look how that's all binded together. All right, first one we have. Look at this lovely birthday greeting card. Isn't that nice how that, see it just uprises over it to give a really nice scenery. And here we are in the back and look right there it says 1910. Back in the days where you could just put the town and the state and you got it. Came to you. Beautiful greeting card. All right, here's another one. Birthday greeting. Just adding these beautiful daisies. Let's look at the back side. Look at the little corners like that, like little blocks. Very different. Okay, and this one also says 1910. Look at that. 1910 card. Isn't that something, huh? Alright, look how fragile the pages are. Okay, I loosened the corners. I'll go back and I'll put them all in right, but I loosened them just so I could take it apart and show you the back side of each of them. Got a little seat here. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful one? Best Easter wishes. That is so nice. Look real close at that. Almost seems like it's that material, you know. You can see that all in there. Oh, this one's got a one cent stamp. 1916. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. Where well, you just put the name, the town, and the state, and that's it. That's all you needed back then. Ain't that something? Beautiful card. Okay, now here's another Easter one. Like the sunshine after rain, Easter gladness comes again. May Easter sunlight gladden you. Wow, very nice and religious. Let's see, let me have the dates here. Ah, again, it looks like a 1916. Had to stamp it twice trying to get it in there. The one cent. Not totally sure. Oh, they wrote upside down. <laughs> the message is written this way. Hmm. Another nice Easter one. Oh, that's pretty. I like that A little design there in the corner. Look at that. Happy Easter. Let's see what we got on the other side here. Ooh, nice one. 1909. Wow. 1909. Very nice. 
beautiful little Easter one. And here we have another one. A loving birthday wish. May this day be bright and happy. Fill you with joys and memories sweet. May this little word of greeting speak from me until we meet. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Very nice. Ooh. This is 1915. Let me see this stamp here. A one cent stamp. Wow. I have not seen this one before. A very nice one cent stamp. U.S. Partial Posts. Huh. That is a very different one. Look at that. Hmm. This is from what? 1915. Wow. All right. Nice. That's a good find. I kind of like that. Nice stamp. That's what's good about some of the postcards and stuff. Well, let's see if I can pass the edge. Whoa. Some of them are coming out because I loosened them so I could show them. There's that one. Just got a rose. It says birthday greetings. And this is a 1912. One cent stamp. All right. And here's red roses. That was a yellow rose. This one's a red rose. And it says birthday greetings. Oh, a stamp on that one too. A 1910. One cent stamp. All right. Oh, this is a Happy New Year's. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So shiny. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I really like that one. Isn't that something? That's a nice one. Happy New Year, huh? Okay, and we have... What do we got for... 1909. One cent stamp. Alright. That's a beautiful one. I really like that. What do you think of that one, huh? There's a particular one you like. Go ahead, leave it in the comment. Let us know. I like that one. I like it because of the silver. It's so shiny and glittery. And the rose looks so natural. It's pretty. I made some nice cards back then. All right. Here's another Happy New Year's with Cherry Good Wishes. Ooh. Happy New Year's with Cherry. Good wishes. That's cute. Did look like a Christmas card, didn't it? Fooled you, didn't it? Back right then they would send Happy New Year cards. Let's see what we got. Ah, no year on it. Mmm. Hmm. All right. There we go. See if I can put it so that when I turn the page, I'll be lost. There we go. 
Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the birds. What a beautiful card. A small token of a great regards. Ooh. Well, now that's a very different card to receive, isn't it? A small token of a great regard. Well, look at that. Just love the birds, they're so pretty. Wow. All right. It would take a one cent stamp. So that helps you to know the year. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that card. What a beautiful card. Nice. All right. And here's another New Year's greeting. It says Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's greeting. Wow. Well, all right. And this is a 1909 with a one cent stamp. All right. And this one says, a Happy New Year. Simple, but yet elegant. Beautiful bell. That makes it look like cloth. Very festive. And we're, oh, we got a, oh, a whole bunch of writing here. Let's see, what year do we have? 1909. One cent stamp. That's a little hard to put that 09 on there, huh? All right. Huh. Very nice. Very old. You can see where it kind of like prints itself right through. Like that. Very nice card. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> Another one of those silver looking ones. Happy New Year's. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Alright, and this one has... Oh, wow. We can't really see the year of that one. Hmm, that almost looks like 1919. But it was still the one cent stamp. Hmm. Oh, no, it says 1907 right there. September 27th, 1907. Hmm, it must be 1909. Hmm. All right. But there you go. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And by all means, share this video with other postcard collectors. Especially those who really enjoy the old vintage ones from the early 1900s. All right. Bye-bye now. All right, here we are again, venturing in our beautiful old album of old postcards. They're greeting postcards from the early 1900s. Now, this group will be from 1907 to 1922, this next year. I just love the cover of this book, you know, and it's really super old. That's the back side of it. But you can see how old these pages all are. Ooh, super duper old. All right, now let's get to where we left off last. And here we are. And here we have a cheerful Thanksgiving. Just a simple card. Look at the pumpkins as bright as gold. And all so big, they're hand to hold. 
I trust the pleasure will come your way, just a big and as bright as they. Ah, oh, beautiful Thanksgiving card. Okay, this one was an unused one. All right, this one is very best wishes for you on your own Easter day. Ah, simple, but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that nice? Very pretty. Elegant looking. And let's see, I'm not sure it's a one cent. Down here it says six. So I'm thinking 1906 maybe. Can't really see on there, but it's a one cent stamp. So we know it's from the early 1900s. All right, what a beautiful card. Just gorgeous. Love it. Oh, look at this one. It's got a lot of little silver spots in it. Best New Year wishes. Ah. Oh. Isn't that a beautiful picture? It's like you look at the card and then you got to go right inside. Brings you right to the center to check everything out. The mountain, the snow, the people. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. And this is a 1912. Let's see, 19 on the left hand side, 12 on the right hand side with the one cent stamp. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love how the sides are all like this. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. With best New Year wishes. Oh, that's beautiful. It says, This is a season of snow, but a gentle glow is spreading from heart to heart. May this mess messenger true that I'm sending to you the warmth of my wish in part. Beautiful. Oh, see how much time they took in creating cards back then. All right, and this is 1910 with a one cent stamp. Gives you a good insight on how they used to do things way back then, huh? Long time ago. All right. Oh, look at this one. This one opens up. Oh, it's got a little bow. It opens up. Let's see what you got to say. Oh, it says to and from. Then they put a nice little message in there. Okay. With music sweet, we hail the morn to bright and hold ever. Whereon our Lord in glory rose the chain of sin to savor. O heart rejoice, wake, thankful voice. His love forgot thee never. Okay. A peaceful Easter. All right, well, that's a very different card, isn't it? Hmm. That's actually a postcard, look. For those of you who thought it wasn't, look at that. It is a postcard. Wow, I wonder how they sent that in the mail to leave it close. I would think it would open up. But back then in the early 1900s, didn't have to worry about that, I guess. It's not like today. Okay, New Year greetings. Just pretty. And this is 1907 with a one cent stamp. A Franklin stamp. Beautiful. 
And best wishes for a happy new year. Plain and simple. Inside there is the homestead. The moon rising above. Beautiful. She makes it look like it's got all the snow dingling down. <laughs> okay, and this is a 1908 with a one cent stamp. Alright. And we have this one here. Just some beautiful flowers. May joy and compliment fill your heart on your birthday. Okay, it's just a birthday card. A simple one. Okay, it was not mailed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, here's another birthday one. All oh, the birds. Ah, oh, must have been a spring birthday. On your birthday. Love the birds one. I'm sending this, these birth, bluebirds, as Mary's sign of the joy I'm wishing a friend of mine. Oh, on your birthday. Oh, that's sweet. How touchy. Very nice. And this is 1922. One cent stamp. Oh, look at this. This would almost remind you that it might be, oh, is this a Hawaiian card or what? Look at that. Pineapples. All it says is pineapples at the bottom. What kind of card is that? <laughs> ah, just one you sent a message to. 1910. A one cent. Written one cent. Huh. Let's just put a whole message in. So it's just send a message postcard. That's something. Wow, I love those raspberries. They look so delicious. Nice and big. Good. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Making me hungry. Time for breakfast. Here is an Easter card. Like the sunshine brightest rays be thy Easter path this day. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Always got to stop and make sure you see everything that's on the card. Okay, and this is 1916. One cent stamp. Okay. Yes, a happy new year. Oh, look at that. Always have the bridge to walk over. The peaceful of the running of the water so you can sleep peacefully at night. And probably fish an awful lot during the day in the summer. That's so pretty. Beautiful. Yeah, this one does not have the year. I chewed up part of the stamp. It's gone. Oh, right there. 1911. All right. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these all to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And by all means, share this video and the other from this beautiful album. To all those who enjoy collecting old postcards. A lot of collectors out there. So share it with them all. Alright. Bye bye now. Alright. Here we are again. Visiting the old vintage album of postcards. All different kinds of postcards. This one is really from the early 1900s. 1910 to 1915 is what we're going to be showing you today. And a lot of them, if you've seen already on some of my other ones, they have the stamps in the back. So the stamps in itself is neat. All right, let's go to the beginning here. 
There we go. I loosen the cards up a little bit so I can handle it with one hand. So the other one can hold the camera. Look at this. A happy Easter. Very different to see it with a black backing like that, isn't it? A happy Easter. But he looks so real. Look at them. So pretty. And this one is 1916. With a one cent stamp. Oh. This one. Very nice. A joyful Easter. Let the earth rejoice. Beautiful time when all the flowers come out, the smell is in the air. It's what people call spring fever. It's because the smells of the flowers affect people. Beautiful Easter card. And this one's a. Hmm, looks like. I'm not quite sure. It's a one cent stamp. Not really sure on the year with this one. Alright. Very nice. Ah, look at this one. It's so traditional. Look at the egg. And look real close to it. Look at the the paper that it's on. Gives you all the if you look at an egg real close, that's exactly how you see it. Beautiful. So the egg opens up and gives us our beautiful flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Egg with a ribbon. Wow, we used to take those and put them in food coloring to help them turn different colors. So if you want to do the Easter colors, you could do that. All the budding of the spring. Beautiful. This Easter greeting. And also a one cent stamp, so you know it's the early 1900s. a date on that one either. Alright, beautiful. There we go. Ah, oh, this is nice. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Hearty New Year Wishes. This is a New Year's card. All right. It's got the Christmas hollies on it. I was looking at that and I'm going, wait a minute. That almost looks like a little bit of snow. We're not still in Easter here. We kind of moved on, didn't we? Yeah, it's a Happy New Year one. Neat. Nice card. Just looks like a note you wrote on a paper, huh? Stuck a picture and wrote the note. I turned that into a nice card. You know, just by looking at how the edge is. Alright, and this tells you the date and the time. Oh, right there is the year. Looks like 1911. Part of a second stamp there. But it's got a one cent stamp. cabin in the woods outside in the snow a happy new year B 
be yours. Very nice. And no year on this one. Wrote the message but didn't mail it. Doesn't look like no stamp had been on there. Alrighty. Oh. Look at them two birds. A couple of love birds over there. With all good wishes for the new year. That's cute. <laughs> All dressed up, very festive looking. Snow coming down. Cute. <laughs> All right, no stamp or nothing on there. Well, that's a cute one. I like that. Very nice. Be merry and happy on this Christmas day. Be merry and happy every day until this next New Year's gives me the welcome opportunity to say to you again a Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, nice. That one's just a nice saying. Very good. And no stamp on that one. What do we have here? Oh, cheerful Easter greeting. Look at that. It's like it ripped right through the paper to give you a nice view of spring. Little bridge there and the house, the trees. And on top, of course, you got to have the rooster, the little chick. Very nice. Alright. 16, 1916. With a one cent stamp. Alright. Very nice. Alright. And this one's a birthday one. Ah, an artist. There you go. Bit of an artist there. And 1911, one cent stamp. Beautiful. Oh, look at this one. This is nice. Look in the egg. And this is actually a birthday greeting. Hmm. First looking at it, I thought we were an Easter. It does look like an egg, but it's not. It's a mirror. The reflections. Nice. I like that. That's pretty. Beautiful flowers. Alright. This has got a one cent stamp. 1911. I like that one. That is nice. Beautiful one. Now we have an Easter one. It has an egg. A couple of little chicks with the flowers. Oh, a very stiff, thick card, too. And this is 1915. One cent stamp. One cent written that way, which is a little different. All a little different, huh? 1915. So cute. And this one's Joyous Be Your Easter. Ooh, checking out. These eggs are hatching. Got one little fella. What's happening to the rest of them, huh? <laughs> the lambs are looking. All right. That's cute. <laughs> You wonder what goes through people's mind when they're making it, huh? And that's 1912. And the one cent stamp. One cent being all written out on this one. Not like the other one, huh? It had the one and then the cent and then another one. All 
right. Okay, so this one I really enjoyed. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share this with others who might enjoy looking at some old, old postcards. Okay, the early 1900s. Bye-bye now. All right, here we are, checking out some of the early 1900 vintage album greeting cards. Okay, beautiful album. Love this album. All right, I've been making the videos on them all. I loosened the edges of the cards out of their little spots there. And these are all unused cards on this particular one. But they're all from the early 1900s. Look how beautiful that is. Can you imagine a clock full of flowers? Look how beautiful that is. With all the four-leaf clovers and everything. That's beautiful. And it says, Happy New Year's. That is so lovely. I love that one. Really nice. Beautiful. Look at that. See how that's done right up? Beautiful. Really cute. <laughs> creative. <laughs> Whoever made that one was very creative. All right, and this one here it says Happy New Year's and sincere good wishes. Just the swans on the water with the snow. Beautiful. Okay, and then we have this one on. Ah, like a raggedy end doll. Look at that. The country's looking beautiful. When are you coming home? Now see the uh, can't really read it since our mother out of town. I don't know. Here you go. Read it for yourself. Not quite sure what kind of card that is, but look at the old sewing machine in it. You know, sometimes it's looking beyond just the front picture, looking what's behind. The old sewing machine. Cool. All right, and what do we have here? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Best New Year wishes. Right there. Just a wish, a loving thought, with all fond memories fraught. Okay. That's a nice one. A circle, just a homestead in one of you. All right. I'd be really delicate with these pictures. I mean, with the pages. Yeah. Now we have some Thanksgiving ones. There you go. To my old friend. Thanksgiving Day is nearing, and so again I say, with all the old-time friendship, I wish you a happy day. Look at that. Look, there's numbers on there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Nice old postcard. And here we have another Thanksgiving one. It says, I'm thankful for a friend like you. We set apart Thanksgiving Day to give thanks that all do, but I am thankful every day for such a friend as you. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. How many of you still send Thanksgiving cards? These are all from the early 1900s. All the 
these cards. Look at this. A Happy New Year. Cool. Oh, the homestead out there. Boy, they really like this homestead picture. Take that one little cabin and use it all kinds of ways. May every chime for you ring a happy new year. And to your heart may it bring hope, peace, love, and good cheer. Very nice. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but whoo! Windy! And that's a simple Thanksgiving one. Look at that. The little turkey there. Thanksgiving greetings. Now that the time to give thanks is due, I give thanks, my friend, for knowing you. Ah. Sometimes just a simple picture, but it's the words that really hit the heart. Very nice. I like that one. All right. From all of us. Okay. Here's a wish for every one of you, from every one of us, for a Christmas day. A Christmas gay. Okay. And happy to and a new year. Per prosperous. Prosperous. Christmas gay. Hmm. See how the words were meant different. Back in the old days, gay was happy. All right. Best wishes for Christmas. There you go. Beautiful little deer and everything. The compliments of a Christmas season. I'm sending in simple verse. I can't send more, and there's a reason. Too many gifts have emptied my purse. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I love that one. Uh, simple reason. Too many gifts have emptied, emptied my purse. That's a good one. I like that. Now that's dear. Has to bring laughter at Christmas, and the best medicine is laughter. Great. All right, this one is Merry Christmas. Wish that you were with us here. Welcome wait with those of cheer. Candle radiance, you long to nothing lacking, only you. Ah, oh, nice little Christmas card. Okay, and this one is birthday greetings. I almost thought it was a Thanksgiving card. Until I saw it says birthday greetings. And that's it. Kind of have to do it all by yourself. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of these beautiful old early 1900 postcards from a beautiful album. Be sure to share them with other postcard collectors so that they can see and read some of the good sayings. All right, bye-bye now. All right, here we are today visiting the old vintage greeting cards Greeting Postcard Album. Look how beautiful that is. What an old, old album. Look at that. You can tell by that. You can tell by the pages. I mean, it's really green, but it's brown to the edge. <laughs> All right, so let's get right in there. We've already made some videos, so here we are. Oops. Cards kind of come out of this spot. I loosened them up so it'd be easier to handle and stuff as we show them all to you. Here we have an Easter greeting. Look at that. Beautiful. Holding her little bunny. Isn't that just adorable? 
What a beautiful card. Easter greetings. So nice. Okay, and this one. Let's see. It's got a one cent stamp. It's from Massachusetts, but it doesn't really have the year on it. Oh, well, that's it. Beautiful Easter card. All right, and this one here, this is so cute. I like this one. Put a black cat and a white kitty all together. Sunshine and Shadow. That's their name, Sunshine and Shadow. That beautiful. That's all it is. <laughs> and this one, I uh, don't really give it a year, but it's the one cent stamp. Alright. That's so pretty. Sunshine and shadow. <laughs> Sunshine's really happy, look. Shadow's like, what are you doing taking a picture of me? <laughs> so cute. Alright. Trying to figure out the good lighting. Okay, and this is New Year's greeting. Just a big reef in the snow. Yes, greeting. Oh, it's an unused card. Really cool. These are all from like the early 1900s. And look at this one. Very different card. Just a cat. And if you notice, look at the phone number back then. 738-1. Uh, that gives you the error. <laughs> All right, this does not give it, oh yeah, right there, the year, 1910, with a one cent stamp. All right, I always like to have the year on the stamps, I mean on the postcards, so that you're aware of how old these cards really are. I mean, look at that, it's green there, but it's brown the edge, very vintage album, nice album. Okay, let me see if I can. Got to be really careful with the pages too because crumbles very easily. Oh, got to be very careful. Handle everything delicately. Okay, this one is greetings from Anderson Industry. So they had their own cards made. Great. Oops, and they were addressed. I think that says 1919. But it's a one cent stamp. Alright. And here's an Easter thought. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? As the birds return to their nests again. May they bring the season joy to you. Very beautiful. Alright. No stamp on it, but it did get addressed. Alright. Oh, this one's a joyous birthday. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Nice card. So it's like you look at the card and then you want to see the mystery of the picture. You know, and then really get in there and it's like, oh, that's so nice. Water wheel right there. Cool. It's nice. Alright, and this is 1911 with a one cent stamp. All right, 
And this one here is Best New Year Wishes. To you, dear friend, sincere greetings. I am fondly sent this New Year's Day. Okay. Beautiful New Year's card. Of course, dressed in the Christmas, because it comes right after Christmas. And this one was unused. All right. Ah. Oh. Many happy days. Okay. Let's get a wishbone. Many happy days. Oh, isn't that a different card, huh? I guess it can be anything you want it to be. Wishing for better health. Maybe that's what the picture is all about. It's all dressed up winter light, but then there's the water in the ship there. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with this one. Many happy days. Okay. Wishing you many happy birthdays. Ah! It's one of them you can send and put what you want. All right. So that ended up being a birthday card. Cool. I wonder if these numbers mean anything. If you know about that. Because I see that on quite a few of the cards. You know those little numbers in the corner? So it makes me wonder. What are the numbers there for? Okay. Now look at that. The big W is in that reef. W designed for wishing you a Merry Christmas. Very different, isn't it? And of course the bell says Christmas. Well, that's very different. Oh, started writing a message, but it was not stamped. Okay. A joyful Christmas. Oh, may your Christmas to the brim, be filled with fun and laughter. May Santa Claus include each rim and bring just what you're after. Ah, a poet. Cool. Now that's a nice one. And it's unused. Here we got a Thanksgiving one. Sitting at the table there. Thanksgiving joy. Here a little child I am, having up my either hand. Cold as paddock, though they be, here I left them up to thee. For all the venison to fall on our meat and on us all. Huh? All right, here you go. Read it for yourself. Thanksgiving joy. Look, her blouse, her apron says A, B, C, D, E, F. <laughs> Cute. Very different. All right. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of the old postcards that happen to be in this beautiful vintage album. All right. Share them with other postcard collectors, all right? Bye-bye now. All right, here we are visiting one of the nice old vintage albums. Look at that. We've already made one video, and here we are visiting it again. As you can see, we got plenty to go. So let's start right off where I left off, right here. Okay, here we have a January 1st Joyous New Year greeting card. These are all postcards, beautiful postcards. January 1st. Okay, and here we have a Franklin stamp, one cent stamp. And I'm not really sure the year of this one. doesn't really 
come very clear, but it is a Franklin one cent stamp. So you know that's the early 1900s. There we go. And here we have another Love's Greeting. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now you know this one's an old one because it says copyright 1906. So this card was made in 1906. And it has a Franklin one cent stamp and it was 1908. All right. Beautiful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Very different. It's got some cloth and everything. It's got some glitter to go with a beautiful house. No country house. And this is birthday greetings. Whenever you have birthdays, I'm one of quite a mop whose wishing bone I want it known is always on the job. Okay. Different way of talking, isn't it? Well, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Now this is one, if you notice, they wrote a whole letter and then they glued it to the postcard in order to send. <laughs> Isn't that something? Alright, I don't see where there's any year on it. No is. Well, that's quite an interesting card, isn't it? A blessed and peaceful Easter. Oh, I always like looking at the old postcards because they really went into creating them so nicely. They're so pretty. All right. Uh, this one does not have anything. You can see how it's just like printed right straight through. Beautiful postcard. Love it. Alright, let's see what we got on the next page. See how old these pages are? They were green and they kind of browned. This is early 1900 stuff. I loosen them. I'll put them all back right after just so that it'd be easier because I need one hand for the video the other hand to show you. Look how beautiful this is. To greet you at Easter. Right in the egg has a picture of the homestead. Look at that. So beautiful. All the lilacs. What a beautiful card. See how much time they took into making special cards? Wow. Love it. Now let's see what we have. A 1911. With a one cent stamp. I love this card. It's so beautiful. That's a beauty. What a lovely card. That's something to treasure and someone did treasure it. Because here we are over a hundred years old and then we still have it. Yay! A good wish for Easter. Take though my greetings. There is plenteous love within the message if you seek to find it. Okay. Lots of love in this Easter. And <laughs> the bunny coming out of the egg like that. They're cute. All good wishes for Easter. Alright. And this is 1911. Ah, I had 
be here. Welcome Easter Tide. Back then it used to be Tide. A couple of nice bells, beautiful flowers. Easter is all about the spring coming up in the air and all the beautiful flowers. And we have a 1910 one cent stamp. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, look at this. Happy Easter to you. Hmm. Raindrops must have fallen inside the egg. Beautiful. This is a 1911. One cent stamp. When it was the 13 colonies. Look at that. 13 stars to the flag. Beautiful. I still love that one. That one's just glorious. Alright. Now, uh, put those all back. And we have this one here. The Seizing's Greeting and Best Wishes. If all your days throughout the year were crowded into one, I'd fill it full of Christmas cheers from morning till set of sun. Ah, poetry. All right. This one, ah, different. This one's not so old. This is a 1938 one cent. Not as old. Oh. oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Easter greeting. Oh. I like this one. So pretty. Kind of glossy a little bit. And what have we here? A 1910. One cent stamp. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Wow. Okay, a happy Easter. Oh, that looks so natural, don't it? They look so natural. Wow. Cool. Love it. Alright, and this one has a stamp but you can't really it's a one cent stamp so you know it's an old one 1915 so pretty they look so natural I have a brand new Easter bonnet I thought you'd like to hear everybody likes it and Papa said was dear. Oh, so cute, cunning. <laughs> I love that. It's got a. It's 1916, one cent stamp. See how they had the stars like that. That's so pretty. Isn't that cute? All right. I think this one was my best one right here. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. We're only at the beginning of this album. Alright, bye-bye now.